Welcome back everyone. Today we are talking about how dentists fill baby teeth and what a baby tooth filling looks like under a surgical grade microscope. I'm excited. I think you guys are excited. Let's do this thing. Baby teeth cavities are really sneaky. In fact, without x-rays, oftentimes we have no idea they're even there. But once we expose the cavity, it's pretty obvious what it's doing to the tooth. All the brown stuff you see here is the decay, and it's actually very soft to the touch. We use a special instrument that only removes the decay tooth structure and leaves the healthy stuff behind. As we open into the second tooth, you'll see another cavity that's just inside the second layer of the tooth, which is the dentin. Anytime they're into this layer, they keep going and going until they reach the nerve of the tooth and eventually cause an abscess. We need to get rid of all of the decay, and here's why. If we leave anything behind, oftentimes, especially if it gets exposed to oxygen in a poorly sealed filling, the bacteria will replicate and cause another cavity underneath. So that's why we spend so much time making sure all of it is out. If we were to put in the fillings now, it would go all over the place. So we need a special band. These are special little retaining walls that keep the filling where we want them. And we put a special wedge in to seal it all off. This is essentially tooth shampoo. It cleans the tooth and makes the areas we want to bond to stickier. After we rinse, we're ready for bonding. But first we put a special filter on to make sure that the filling doesn't set too early. We applied two coats of tooth glue in there to make sure that when we put the filling in, it's going to stick. We cure that with our special light and we're off to the races. The filling comes out in a putty format, and then we have to kind of tamp it in there to make sure that it's well adapted to the tooth and that there's no air bubbles inside. It can be tedious work to make sure everything's perfect. We build it up in small increments to make sure that the shrinkage of the material doesn't affect the seal of our filling. Paying close attention to the last increment can really make our job polishing the tooth later a lot easier. So I spend a lot of time shaping it here, making it look right. After we're done the first filling, I take one of the bands out to make sure that the flossing contact between these two fillings is going to be excellent. Then we do the same thing all over again. Once we're done, we take everything off and start polishing. There's some edges that need to be cleaned up and we use a scalpel blade to do that. Then we use our rotary burrs to make sure that the tooth is nice and flush against the filling and that there's no rough spots either. Then I check for smoothness and make sure that we got a nice polish on it. Finally, we take the rubber dam off and our child gets a little break. After a filling procedure, it is normal for your child's gums to be bleeding, so don't be alarmed if you see some red. Here, the black spots represent high areas where we need to adjust so that the bite is nice and even. Once we get rid of those, we check again. And here, the black marks are only a natural tooth, which is perfect. Now, if you thought what you just saw was interesting and would like to see more stuff like it, please subscribe to the channel. It'll really help me understand which videos are doing well and what people like, and then I can make a whole bunch more of that. If your child's gonna be getting a baby tooth filling soon, or you just have questions about baby teeth fillings in general, then please leave a comment below. I will do my very best to get back to it within 24 hours. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.